Two, it's your boy J Rillo. And today, John Wiz did an interview on IG Live with Flamboy Entertainment. And he spoke on Jab Boy beefing with Kodak Black. But it's crazy because the female asked John Wiz, Do we think Kodak and Jab Boy will ever rekindle their relationship? Like, Jab Boy ain't just called John Wiz broke the other day. <laughs> like, he ain't just go off on the whole sniper game entirely. Like, that's crazy. But John Wiz pretty much said he don't know if they'll ever be able to rebuild their relationship. Because at this point, they ain't just done went too far. You got them calling each other out their name on the internet, and they done made multiple diss songs on each other. And it's crazy that people still saying will they ever get back together. Like, them boys ain't been beefing for almost two years now. I like just think about it. Them boys ain't been beefing for, like, two years. It's crazy. But y'all let me know down in the comments. Do you think they ever gonna squash the beef? I mean, I understand why they keep it going, because the fans obviously love it. But it's like both sides gotta speak on each other just to stay relevant, other than really Kodak Black, but even in Kodak Black songs, he be dissing, and every song he done dropped been a bop, that's crazy, but can y'all imagine if Jap Boy and Kodak Black came together and did a song together, that John would probably do super gremlin numbers, times two, no cap, but hey, y'all let me know y'all opinions down in the comment section, because I got the IG law, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, turn me up. Okay, so the next question we have is, um, we gonna get, and people wanted to know a little bit more about the jack boy situation and you know how do you feel about them rekindling their friendship you know like from from me and, and to everybody that's a fan of sniper game that been here from the start from from the very jump i'm talking about way 2013 you feel me like when we really like started this thing here you feel me? but all i can say from bottom of my heart i don't like that shit. i hate but it's like how I'm finna bite the hand that feed me. You feel me? Yeah. If I start this, I'm finna how I'm finna cross myself. How I'm finna turn yeah. my back on my back. You feel me? So it's right. like we are family, we're gonna always be a family and I don't fuck with that shit. I don't respect that shit. Not one and that's it for me to y'all, you feel me? Right. So do you think they can ever make it right though? Do you think they'd ever be right? I, I, I don't I don't know. I got homeboys that I don't even talk to, but when we see each other, we throw it up. But that's right. that's different. Like, yeah, that's different. I don't know. That shit made me want to sneeze sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you now. The next questions we, um, I do have someone wanted to know. Okay, I'm gonna get into the juicy ones first so we can get that out the way. So, um, the next question we have is, um, for your brother Kodak, they wanted to know what do you think that he should do differently you know, to avoid harassment from the police? To be honest, you know, the things he could do different is just like, just continue standing the music, you know, like just, just, mm -hmm. do, do, do what makes you like, get away from everything, you know, like, you know, the studio, what he loves, so, you know, he like to, he like to travel, so, you know, I be telling people to do that a lot, you feel me, but, you know, when you come back to the hood, they be, they got you. Right, right. Yeah. You hear me? So it's just no. it's just crazy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That yeah, like you say, he I, I totally agree with you when you say that. Do what you like, you know, stay in the studio, stay out the way, you know, continue making music. You know, he definitely snapped on that Haitian Scarface. I was so happy when he dropped that. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> big up to him on that one. 